Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Bueno, si es mi gente. Yogi, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 268. Rob Hoback here. Happy that you're joining us. Honored and humbled if you're coming back, like for reals. So uh, how about 268? 2 plus 6 equals 8. You know I love that. I see you, Aunt Barb. Um, it's a thirsty Thursday. It's the 11th day of July, and um, it's time to get after it. It's definitely a work day. Uh, so, first things first, still the realist, I'm also traveling. Yeah, so it's like 5.30 in the morning here. I'm in my hotel room, trying not to be too loud. Um, just felt like getting this done before I went downstairs, and then the lighting's bad in here and all this nonsense, but we're here, right? Never said we we're going to be perfect. Um, but going back to, I'm traveling. I was talking to the Dirty King of the South that is now on version 2.0, by the way, Um and I, I, I feel alive when I'm out on the road. I don't know why. It's it's odd. I have a different feeling. It's like I have a different vibe when I'm working from home. Um, that it just, I don't know, it's just different. But I like it. So we've got to do this more often. Uh, my thank yous. Last night um, with the travel and everything, I forgot that uh, one of my favorite shows of the year was on last night's The Espies. And um, so many amazing stories. I didn't even watch the whole thing. Um, so I watched, well, I watched most of it anyway. Um, uh, but a lot of things that we've talked about here, so many stories, uh, like Zion Williamson won the college player of the year. The comeback of the year was the St. Louis blues. Remember we talked about them just a few weeks ago. Um, yeah. NBA player of the year and the male athlete of the year was Giannis, uh, the U S women's national team. Boy, did they have a fun day yesterday. And so they were on there. Um, Alex Morgan won the women's athlete of the year quick aside on the women's team so the other night um when i was home sitting on the couch with addison watching and they were on tv and uh, she watched looked up at them then she looked at me she's like hey daddy i think i want to play soccer he says yeah i think i i think that's a great idea right so that's fun stay tuned for that uh last night the last lifetime achievement award went to bill russell one of my dad's favorite players of all time and then whew, and there's this guy, uh, Rob Mendez, which is my statement for the day. His name is Rob also, for reals, right? Uh, but this Rob Mendez, holy cow, it's one of those stories that, I mean, I, like, I'm going to try not to get emotional just talking about a guy that was born, no arms, no legs, right? Let's start with that. So he's in one of those wheelchairs where he moves around. You don't, I don't know how it works. Um, He's, he became a head football coach. They did an E60 on him over the summer, and uh, they gave him the Arthur Ashe Perseverance Award. And um, it was awesome, moving. And one of his things, remember we talked about the Habas, saying who's got better than us? His is he screams, who says I can't? And he screams no one. And uh, powerful stuff. All right, so I want to close with this story. So I'm out here in California uh, on a work thing. You know, negotiating a contract that got real ugly. You know, threats of shutting down business and canceling contracts. and you know, just a bunch of chest thumping. And um, so there's about, I don't know, eight or ten of us in a room. And the VP from the, the client side says, hey, I just want to start a couple things. And he's like, I understand that, you know, in the midst of negotiations, sometimes things can get said or uh, things can be misconstrued. We value you guys as a partner, blah, blah, blah. And then he said it. He's like, and I truly believe that we're better together. I'm like, oh, my God, I think I love you. So with that, we're going to shut it down. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Love you guys. Appreciate you stopping by. I'll be back tomorrow morning. It's going to be special. All right. We'll talk to you then. See you. Bye.